two pieces. So the small intestine begins right here on the right side of the cat, runs down like this, and then if you continue to follow it, um, this is the duodenum, and now we're in the jejunum, which is much of this structure here. All of the small intestine is held by this transparent membrane called the mesentery. So this is jejunum. And then part way along here, this changes into what we call the ilium. You can't tell for sure where that changes. But if you keep following, 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 you finally end, let me turn it around here. You finally end right here where the small intestine joins the large intestine. And this would be the ilium and the easiest place to identify that. This is the large intestine, so the small intestine enters the large from the side. The beginning of the large intestine here is the cecum, and then a short ascending colon, and then it makes a U-turn right here, and then descends into the pelvic cavity here as the descending colon. Okay, so that's the digestive system. The Urinary system is the two kidneys, left kidney and right kidney. The ureters, you may or may not see them right now, but these tubes that are running down here from the kidney to the urinary bladder. And here's the urinary bladder in this cat, very small, right? Could be much larger if it had been full of urine when the cat died. So the bladder and the kidneys and perhaps the ureter. Later we will find the ureters. The adrenal gland is here in the cat, and you can see this one with a little blue vein crossing it. And if you look close at that, you'll see the same pebbly appearance of a gland. So this is where the cat's adrenal gland is, right here. And then lastly, um, we'd like to be able to identify some reproductive structures in the cat, in the female cat, which is what this is, there is this uterus, which is two long tubes. We call it a bifurcated uterus. This is the left horn of the uterus. This is the right horn of the uterus. If you follow it out, it ends where it joins the little bean-like structure, which is the cat's ovary. So there's a left ovary and over here is the cat's right ovary. And the little bit of tissue cradling the ovary is the fallopian tube. Because remember, this is all uterus here. So that's the reproductive system of the cat, which will help us with blood vessels. Wanna do the thoracic cavity then?